B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. I think in in the last uh, event in March, I talked about uh, cross border data. I talked about um, you know some of the lesson learns from what what Amcham has been doing uh, for for our advocacy. And I think in our previous uh, webinars, uh, our colleague Tommy has talked about the customs on uh, digital goods, right? And I think that's that issue is still uh, an ongoing issue for Amcham Indonesia. Uh, so the government has recently put an co a custom uh, obligations for uh, digital goods import, and this is a big issue for us because you know we we see that uh, this uh, policy would be a burden for for the companies, right? Yeah. We have plenty of committees, uh, one per sector, per committee. So for example, we have mining and we have a mining committee. If it's banking, we have a banking committee. But now, um, you know, uh, moving forward, we decided to compile um, several sectors into one committee. So uh, we have mining, agriculture, and energy into one. Uh, we have banking, finance, legal, and tax into one. ICT, because it's big, and you know, uh, that, that is into one itself. And um, the other one that we have is Customs uh, Manufacturing and Logistics Committee. So those four are the key um, committees that we currently just started and, and it just kicked off uh, last week uh, with, with, with our members and uh, everyone was excited to share the issues or concerns, particularly the challenges of what uh, Myanmar is currently going through and how we as, as a chamber can help our members to um, you know, to help not not solve issues or their challenges, but sort of how we can help them. For some uh, regulation, I, we cannot directly engage with the Myanmar government, but then we kind of find a way to communicate with the local associations as well, because for them, they're based in Myanmar, so they cannot avoid without being engaged with the current government. So they, uh, we would talk to them and see if they are facing the same um, uh, issues like mm -hmm. our foreign company. So yeah, that's another way how we communicate because we usually attend a quarterly uh, foreign chambers meeting mm -hmm. where every uh, foreign chamber, including the Asian chambers are invited and we used to uh, raise our issue there as well. So so um, I think the local association and also the Myanmar chamber uh, are doing their best to assist the, the foreign chambers as well to to, uh, for the development of the economy, uh, country economy. Yeah. Mongolia is poised to become the uh, technological hub in uh, Central and uh, Eastern Asia. And we're very proud to be sitting here amongst uh, our excellent uh, role model countries in the Southeast uh, uh, region. And we hope to uh, quickly catch up to it. Uh, for sure, we know that Mongolia is uh, maybe, maybe one or two steps behind on this, but uh, we're uh, realizing the opportunity and we're capitalizing on it. Um, some some of the legislative uh, endeavors we've been taking place is the 2021 Public Information Transparency Act, law on electronic signatures, protecting human rights and digital networks, which caused quite a bit of controversy and we'll probably get to touch on that more later. Cybersecurity law 2021, public information law 2021, etc. And these are all new and very recent uh, legislative updates. And these will help foster a more smoother and more integrated business and people-to-people -people connection, which uh, which I think is vital for the digital economy. We import the uh, coal to China, and because of the pandemic border closure, it was really difficult. And uh, um, I think um, 2020 United Nations e-government uh, development index, Mongolia ranked like number 92 out of 193 countries. So, um, and because of that, you know, the Mongolian government, uh, you know, uh, focused and uh, focused on working on uh, to, you know, recover Mongolian economy and accelerate and use the digital transformation. And then they start working on the, you know, the transforming and shaping e-government in Mongolia. Okay. And then it started this e-government, uh, e-Mongolia platform. It's a, like a single window 
approach, you know, uh, to make the uh, to make a business easier, especially for the foreign direct uh, investors in Mongolia and attract the investors in Mongolia because of, of the pandemic. You know, the, we lost uh, so many foreign investors. The things that we appreciate uh, with the Indonesian government is they're really taking the momentum uh, to do a lot of reforms. Uh, we, we, among others, is uh, uh, omnibus law on the job creations that uh, streamlining uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, overlaps regulations, uh, uh, liberalizing sectors that we've seen actually will boost uh, uh, more growth in the digital economy. So uh, and a lot of it, we actually at MCM uh, we provide uh, we're quite active in providing inputs. What we've seen, uh, this is something that will help Indonesia in terms of the digital economy. Uh, a similar with with Mongolian and I guess we we're trying to uh, digitalizing uh, the government process, including in the licensing system. You've been with V2B Cambodia. Thank you for watching.